Hi you guys and welcome to another video. So my name is Vicky and I've come out to one of my favourite places. So I've come down to the dam and you can notice my hair is still wet. I've been paddle boarding this morning and I know before I gave you guys a video on unwrapping the paddle board but I don't think I've explained again exactly what it's like to be on the water with this thing. So this is the Bluefin 12 foot paddle board. It's a great board, it's uh, got lots and lots of buoyancy there, it's good for a starter as well. Um, so you've got lots and lots of balance on there. So what you tend to do is stand your feet either side of the handle in the middle of the board and, and that's probably your best point of balance on the board there. So this one does actually have a few different accessories as well. So you can use it either for a paddle board or you can change it over and use it as a kayak. So I do have a kayak seat that can clip onto the board. And then I also have an extra paddle um, which will connect up to to this. So what I can do here, you see I've got the handle at the end. So I can take that one off, just pull that out nicely there and then I can input this paddle here onto the board. So it just works on a click-based system. So you can see here, um, I've just got the little um, metal bit I just need to push in and get it into the other section. It's really hard to do with one hand. There we are, so that just goes in there like so. So we have one paddle, we've got the other paddle there and then you can use that then um, as your kayaking paddle. Um, and then if you were changing it back to a paddle board, you just put the handle back on the end there and take one of the paddles off. Um, so let's go a little bit closer looking at the board. So we do have the bungee straps on the front here. So if you've got a dry bag, you can attach your dry bag onto here. I try and use like a carabiner just so it definitely stays on um, and then put it under the straps there as well. Further back, we've got a nice non grip We've got a nice grippy area um, for your feet to go on and we've got the leash so I've attached it to the handle at the moment so that attaches to the back of the board just bring it back here so it just attaches on using a little bit of velcro just on there oh. so it just attaches on there using this bit of velcro so plenty of support just on there and then this is the valve of where you use it to pump the paddleboard up uh, so I'll show you the pump in a minute and finally on the back there you've got another handle so when I said the paddleboard seat these are the little clips so there's one there there's another one here just on here and once again here so that's what you put your paddleboard seat into um, so then you can sit down on the paddle board and then paddle your way through. So let's show you the pump as well. So let's put you back on here. Okay. So this is the pump that comes with the paddle board. You've got the pipe on there. So what you do is you just screw that into the top of the pump here. just like so and this bit screws into the paddle board which means then you can pump it up as you go and on the top here if you can see you've got the levels of turn it the right way for you to see you've got all the numbers on there so I'm trying to get it up to 15 psi you also have this little bit at the front here that you can take off to make it easier to pump the air into the paddle board so usually I start off with that in so that most of the air will go straight into the paddleboard and then as it starts to get harder I just take that one off just to make it a little bit easier then as well. Okay, so if I'm heading out on the river instead of using the leash that's already on the board um, what I'll do is I'll use this. So this is a quick release belt so you put it on and it's nice and easy it'll go around your waist You'd pull that open, put this bit through, pull that tight, so that'll be around your middle, 
and then you'd shut it. So this means if you're going and you end up in the water and the water's taking you away, you can pull that easily and then that becomes loose. So let me show you on me. Try and raise up a little bit. So you'd put it on like so. Attach it. You'd attach your leash onto the back here where it is double. So you'd put it between one of those double bits. So you'd have the leash on like this and then if you needed to pull it off quick, you could just pull that quick and it would come off and release so that you can be detached from your board very, very quickly. So I hope that gives you a little bit of a breakdown of the paddle board as well. If you have enjoyed the video, then give it that nice big thumbs up and subscribe just below. And I will see you guys next time for another paddle boarding adventure, hopefully. Um, but we'll also see you for another video soon. So have a great day and enjoy the scenery. <laughs> Bye.